This is Father Fish. Somebody asked me earlier today, they asked me, why do you recommend sand in your tank? I've been told plants cannot grow in sand. And I thought about that for a minute. And my immediate response was, well, whoever said that has never done it. And so they're, they're basing their beliefs on their own ideas, probably on their own self-interest and not on factual trial and error proof. I find that interesting because there's a lot of that kind of knowledge going on in the tropical fish hobby. A lot of people say things and insist upon them as true when in point of fact what they're really insisting upon is their own self-interest, their own ideas. <clears throat> ideas that grow out of their head, ideas that grow out of their beliefs, that grow out of their uh, understanding of how things work, that do not, however, grow out of actual hands-on trial and error proof, experimentation proof. So it's a simple matter. Can plants grow in sand? Well, let's look at this. Here's eight inches of sand. <clears throat> eight inches of sand. Those are plants. See all the plants? Let's, let's pull one up and see if there are any roots. You're okay, just keep going. Let's see. I'm going to do this gently so I don't disturb much. What do you see? Beauty. Are you seeing roots? I am. I'm seeing roots. That's a lot of roots. Look at the roots. It's funny, they're growing in the sand. Yeah. What are those roots growing in? Uh. Sand. By God, they're growing in sand, aren't they? It's a miracle. Look at that. So, this is what I call empirical evidence. Do plants grow in sand? What's that? Is that a root? Do those roots look like they're having trouble getting into the sand? They don't look like it to me. Now this is interesting. What is this? This is dead root. That's the original root ball. It separated itself out. And all of this, all of it, all of that, that's all new root growth that has occurred since this plan was put down in the sand. Let's put them back. You got my technique? Now, this is a big plant. <clears throat> what about a little plant? Tell you what, <clears throat> let's go over here and find ourselves, <clears throat> excuse me, a little plant. There are a bunch of them in here. Let's try, there's a little root just starting to grow on that. Look at that. Going right down there in the sand. Let's pull this guy up. See what's happening here. Oh, look at the new roots. This was just put in a few days ago. Brand new roots going down in there. Look at that. Imagine that. Roots of a very tiny plant growing in what's this? Sand. Is that a coarse sand? That's a very fine sand. Look how fine that sand is. Hmm, interesting, isn't it? 
Let's find another one. Oh, here's one that's all chewed up. And I'll bet we just put this down in here because it was chewed up. Let's see what's on the end of it. Ooh, look at that. Look at all those roots. <clears throat> all of those roots, and they're all new roots. When roots are white like that, that means they're brand new. <clears throat> Something else that's interesting. I'm going to put these back down in here, but those roots will die. And it will send new roots up. Because the roots all have little tiny cilia. Little tiny hairs. <coughs> much thinner and much tinier than the hair on your head. And they grow into the substrate and they actually create little anaerobic pockets that break down waste so that they can pull them up. Look at this. This is a red blood ratio. Look at all the roots coming off of it. All these like clear roots. They're all reaching to the bottom. Let's see what's down in here. What's down in here? My goodness, it's 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 a big plant. It's got lots going on. Oh my. There it is, right there. See that? That's a root that came off of just like these these uh Tap roots, there's one that went down in the sand. See all the little tiny cilia, all the little hairs, like a chain. That's what is feeding this. Now, not this, not the end. Look at that. On the end, nothing at all. We can take that off. But look at the roots. See where they're coming from? They're coming right out of the stem. Right there. So we're going to try to plant that whole thing a little bit. So, what else? Oh, here's one. This is interesting. This is a Valisneria. Now, what do they do? It's a chain plant. Look at the chain. There it goes. See it? Look at that. And it's coming off of, oh, look, it's coming off of this right here. Look at that. Look at all those roots. So, what do we know now that we did not know five minutes ago? We know from empirical evidence, absolute proof, based on our own lion eyes, that plants grow in sand. So the next time someone says that to you, that plants can't possibly grow in sand, you might suggest to them that they check out what they're saying before they open their mouth and say something really stupid. Because plants obviously can grow in sand. If you look in a pond, in a creek, in a river, in the ocean, in a bay, what are all those plants growing in? They're growing in sand. Sand. That sand has a lot of nutrients in it. It's got a lot of mud down in it. But it is at base sand. That's what plants grow in. Every farmer who has ever planted seeds, started seeds, started them in sand beds. Sand. Isn't it wonderful? Look at that. All of these plants, every one of them, growing in sand. Look at all that. Even this apology. Goodness. Plants growing in sand. Who to believe? Only someone who bothered to look and to, and to see and to figure it out by experimentation. There you go. Plants grow in sand. I defy you to say again that plants cannot grow in sand. Because we have just seen plants growing in sand. 
They don't grow in gravel. They do grow in sand. Father Fish, have a wonderful fishing day. Bye for now.